This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona, formerly Wheel Kinetics. Uh, we, after 12 years being one of the first uh, full-time internet car dealerships, we've decided that we needed to modernize our website, upgrade our look, that's what we're doing. So we're Crosscut now, all right? Um, all right, we're selling a car that I love. I know this car really well. This has been my daughter's car uh, since she was 16. She turns 19 shortly. She just graduated from high school and she got a brand new car. And this car is awesome. Uh, we purchased it back in 2017. It was a theft recovery. It's a 2004 Jeep Liberty Sport. It's a 3.7 liter uh, six cylinder, uh, four wheel drive Sport. Now it has 64,373 actual miles. It was a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company. I think it was Farmers in uh, Fresno. It was a theft recovery. It was sold to us on a salvage title and it was due to theft. It looked just like this, except now it's got a little baby lift on it and different tires. And when we purchased it, uh, the car thieves had gotten rattle cans out, white rattle cans and painted from I believe it was, oh no, it was this door all the way around to here, I believe, before they got busted. The rest of it was this color. I'll show you pictures in a second. Um, but uh, I think the insurance company gave it a salvage title just because they didn't think they could get that paint off. And I knew when I saw it, you could. Um, so we got it off and that was that anyway uh, extremely well maintained it's my daughter's car this car was very well maintained um first 38,000 miles uh very likely uh towed miles how do we know that first of all when i got it and it was still had the white ass end of it um i drove it and it drove like brand new i get out and i see these i see this tow hitch this is the tow pull hitch step with a light bar so it's probably towed those 38,000 miles behind an RV and it ran like brand new. Yeah, I have no doubt that that's what happened. How many of those 38? I don't know, but a lot of them. Um, so um, what did we do to it? It got new hood and liftgate struts. Uh, we put a Pioneer deck with Apple CarPlay uh, so she couldn't uh, text in her hand. She could do it by voice, which is cool. Um, we put an inch and a half lift to accommodate the newer tires. The, the tires on Liberties are terrible. Tires and wheels are terrible. It looks better. However, I paid $300 for the lift. Um, it's a puck lift. Um, I don't know if you know what that means, but uh, there's a spacer right up here. And basically, if it was a three inch lift, it wouldn't click and stuff, but that thing shifts. So when you're, when you're going really slow, like backing up, you're just snapping and popping. It's been that way for 24,000 miles. If you want that to go away, take it out, go factory wheels and tires, or raise it up three inches with a real lift. Um, I just figured I was gonna spend 300 bucks because most kids like wreck their car. She didn't, she's an excellent driver, all right? Um, it also got, let's see, upper and lower ball joints. We just did the front hubs a couple thousand miles ago. It'll show up on the Carfax. Uh, we did front, the front struts are new. Um, all, no, all the struts are new. Um, left front axle was leaking, so we fixed that 3,000 3, miles ago. Got an alignment. It's had a bunch of oil changes in 24,000 miles. Uh, and probably this is probably its fifth or sixth detail. This has been very well maintained. Uh, it's a killer car. Uh, uh, we've had some leaks and some whatevers, but nothing really serious with it, and I trust this car. Um, however, if I were to keep it, I would go with a little bit bigger tire size and go with a three inch lift, or I would go get the granny tires and wheels that you can find on Craigslist anywhere for nothing, and take the puck out and drop it down, and then you're good. Uh, it just depends, because that clicking and that, you know, when you're backing up, is annoying anyway it's a really pretty car let me uh open up the back here i'll show you some more information and then we'll get to the driving and the showing off the car all right first of all here's the carfax okay excellent condition which it is um damage brand that's due to theft so they blend the carfax and the kelly they come up with a retail value of eight thousand three hundred and seventy dollars um, I'm into it quite a bit more than that, but we also got a hell of a good time out of it. My daughter was safe and it was a good car. So, um, I do know there's an open recall out for it. Let me, let me get there. Let me show you that. We have to, 
you know, we're not going to do it, but you can drag it in and, uh, you know, call your dealer and make sure that you're allowed to do it with this car. I'm pretty sure you can, but uh, let me see what we got going on here. All right, so it was in California, being well taken care of. There's 21,000 miles in 09. See how little they were driving in 04 to 09? I think it was just being towed around. Um, they're great to tow, but they do collect miles when all four wheels are on the ground, which it was. That's the tow setup they have. So it's putting on miles. They sold it here in 2017, and then almost they put some, they did an oil change here at 36,000 miles, and then a couple months later, bang, stolen, right? We purchased it with 38,000 miles. I knew it was going to be my daughter's car, so I drove it for about 1,500 miles, and then right here, sold it to myself. And let's see if I can turn the page. Boom. Roger's daughter owns it now. Here's the, they say uh, do the rear sp suspension lower control arms. Call your dealer and make sure you can do it. Uh, we have never had problems with that, so it's probably not important, but I always tell people what I know. At almost 62,000 miles, uh, front wheel bearing hubs, uh, we replaced those. They did an oil change, they did a whole bunch of stuff. They were just a little lazy describing it. And a door lock actually, that was the passenger front door lock. Um, stopped working so we had to do that here's the title I got from the insurance company back in 2017 there's the VIN mid-century insurance issued to them 10 26 of 17 um, we purchased wheel kinetics from mid-century purchased it on 11 28 of 17 okay we got it here we took it to the cops we did the uh, level 3 inspection uh, which would be what what is that kind of my eyes suck 125 of 18 uh, and then it had how many miles 39,778 restored salvage passed that's the cops with guns this is now in my name we are selling it through the dealership because it's not legal to for us to sell privately and we don't break the law we do things correctly so you are going to pay taxes um, we've had this thing since 41,003 miles restored salvage okay and it passed smog emissions 219 of 18. Uh, here you only have to do it every two years, okay? So that was that. If you want to put the seats forward, you can. Just do that, right? Do that. Boom. Do that. Still have our high school sticker here, right? Um, does have a backup camera there and a trailer hitch. And there's still a little remnant. See the white right in here? You can still see that little remnant. Um, a little bit right here. It's slowly going away. Every time we detail it, a little bit more goes away, but it's pretty much gone now. Um, here's your remote. Open. Lock. Boom. Open. Let's see. Boom. There it is. All right, let me fire this guy up. We're going to the hood. All right, so we have, let me close the door. I guess you don't have to. Yeah, you do. 64,373 miles are on the car right now. All right. The hood release, look at the mat, the carpet. I mean, this car is, <laughs> open the hood. It's a legit car. I'm going to miss this one. This has been a really good car for us for a long, long, long time. All right. New hood struts. I wish I could keep this car. I really do. There's your VIN sticker on the hood, which you want to see there. All the fenders are original. See the... Nothing's been replaced. This car is just a beautiful car. I love this car. Boom. Boom. Ugh. I'm really going to miss this one, but whoever gets this car is going to be really happy. Um, let's see. In the glove box, we have um, touch-up paint, and we have a remote for it, and we have the wheel lock key. Okay?
this is door locks oh yeah it's a Chevy, it's a dodge product chrysler product so you can't lock yourself out so you can't demo the door locks with the doors open and the car running which is a good thing all right the windows work here that's the back seat window okay there's a little spot right there i remember that she got in trouble for that one <laughs> i wasn't very happy about that it's not a big deal but the way it happened wasn't a big deal not that it happened there's your window here again that's those switches there right Anyway, she's got a 2017 Acura MDX with 30,000 miles so that a neighbor offered at a very discount rate because they love her. So, you know, kind of had to, had to go there or I'd be the bad guy, even though I really like this car. All right, there's that. Boom, boom, boom. Got tilt wheel up and down. All right, what else we got? All right, so you got Apple CarPlay. So here's my phone plugged in. So you got a USB port right here in the center. You put your phone in here. Um, and basically, I, I could I would know by going on Find a Phone if she was texting with her phone or with her, with her Siri. And so you would do that, and that's how it works, right? So there you go. Go back here. Go to Music. Anyway, it's a cool little car, guys. Really cool car. Everything works up here. Boom. The only issue we have, and I, I, I've never addressed it because it never really affected anything, is that clicky, puck, cheap $300 lift I put on it. Which, if I had to do it over again, I wouldn't, but I did it, and so we're dealing with it. All right, let me turn the air on, which blows ice cold also which is mandatory here in tucson if you don't have it you're gonna be angry <laughs> that you don't have it perfect all right um let's see what else four wheel drive boom all right so now we're in four wheel drive where it says four low mode okay drive that's definitely four low all right reverse now we'll have the back of camera Neutral, back to, now we're going to four high. So now it says part time, which is four high. A little quicker, definitely quicker in four high. Reverse, here's your backup camera again. Neutral, two wheel drive. Open the gate and we're good to go. All right, let me turn the air down. It's already a little chilly in here. Um, let's see. If you come to Tucson to drive this vehicle home, it's a killer little car, except I need some gas. Um, it's a killer little car. Um, we, uh, I think it holds about 16,000, uh, 16, 16 gallons of fuel is what I recall it holding. And it would, it's not the greatest gas mileage, but it would get, I think it would get 220, somewhere between, yeah, 220, and 240 is what it would get uh, fuel mileage wise. And so, hear that? That's the, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can tell or not. And honestly, a lot of people won't notice, I do. And so, I tell people what I notice and what I know because then we have drama if I don't, and I don't do drama at all. Uh, we have plenty of money. We don't need to make $1,000 more by lying to you, all right? Uh, but my daughter drove in this vehicle and she's a diamond. I would not put her in something that's gonna kill her. <laughs> so it's really more of a, a noise that's kind of annoying than anything else. And it's been that way for 40, since 41,000 miles when I put her in it. Um, and we kept checking it and checking it. And it's like, it's fine, whatever. Anyway, 
if you come to Tucson, you're going to pay tax. You're going to pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're going to pay is agreed upon price, and that's it. Uh, once we receive your uh, full payment by wire, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's, this is a mess by the way, or your company's name and address. We'll sign it off to you, scan it in your online file, and mail it to you. We'll even scan in uh, the envelope we mail it in, okay? Um, so, uh, you will have it shipped to you. The title will already be in your mailbox when it shows up, and you'll just go get plates. Remember, this is going to be on a restored salvage title, not on a clear title, okay? Um, and that's 100% due to theft. I showed you all the paperwork for that. Um, but it's done, so you don't have to pay us to restore the title. And you, normally that's 250 bucks. You don't have to do that. Um, and, uh, you know, this is a pretty well-known car <laughs> by a lot of people, by a lot of shops and a lot of people because I've really, really taken care of this thing. So you're getting a diamond here. Um, deposits $500. Once you have your deposit in, it will no longer be for sale. Until then, it will stay for sale regardless of anything, okay? No deposit it's for sale. Deposit, it's no longer for sale, okay? It's that simple. Um, last part of every video, I say the same thing every single time. We don't have sales when we don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a fancy location that we're paying five grand a month or 10 or 20 grand a month for like they are at the auto mall. We uh, pay a dollar a year to our uncle who owns this property. So we can sell cheaper because of that. We can sell cheaper because we only have me and my brother doing the whole thing. We don't have a million employees. Uh, we don't have an attendant serving scones and lattes, so you don't have to pay her or him. Uh, we don't have a salesman, so you don't have to pay her or him. Um, so we can sell them cheaper. Um, and it just so happens that this is probably the best known vehicle that we've ever sold. Literally, we've never sold a vehicle that we've had for 20,000 miles, all right? Um, and that's pretty cool. but. We want people to know that one of the things that they do at the auto mall, uh, at their used car dealerships, is they charge you an extra five to $700 every time you uh, buy a vehicle from them used, just for future repair. So that when you come in and say, I paid a fortune here, and my window doesn't work, or an injector's bad, or it's got a leak, or a what, that they say, sure, we can fix it, because they already charge you for the repair, <laughs> right? So we're not charging you for the repair because you're the owner on day one. Um, whether it's a leak or a injection